Do you guys love Korean barbecue? Oh, you don't have to answer it, because I know you do. Today I'm going to explore two authentic Korean barbecue restaurants, one being the most affordable place that I know, and the second being the most expensive place that I know. Spoiler alert, the second place is like 30 times more expensive than the first place. Now let's not waste another second and head over to the first place. So here's the most affordable Korean barbecue place that I know. Their signature pork belly is only about $5 for a serving of 150 grams. Despite the restaurant being so cheap, it honestly looked like any other restaurant. So we ordered the most affordable thing on the menu, the pork belly. I'm paying a good amount of money for this, this better be good. And there's our three servings of pork belly. $15 for 450 grams. Even I could afford that. By the way, this isn't one of those places where they cook for you. You have to do it yourself. You see how hard I'm working? I'd like to throw in the garlic, for sure. So how did they manage to keep it so affordable? Well, there's a few things. First, pork is probably the most affordable kind of meat in Korea. And it becomes even more affordable when you buy them frozen. Now, even frozen Korean pork is quite expensive. So what they have here instead is frozen pork imported from Germany. I guess Germans don't really like pork belly, huh? Even considering those factors, I'm only paying about a half of what I normally would pay. So you could say I was pretty happy with the deal. But the deal doesn't mean anything if the food is bad. Allow me to see if it's good enough for you guys. Good piece of pork belly. Dip it in salt. It's honestly pretty good. I like my pork belly overcooked. I would say that the meat quality was average, which means it's pretty good because average pork belly is pretty good in my opinion. Of course, the side dishes that you see are all included for free, because unlike the rest of the world, we don't have a tendency of charging for every speck of dust on the table. I'd say Korea is pretty westernized, but not that westernized yet. I'm gonna have to get some of that doenjangjigae. You know how like in other cultures, they're kind of weirded out by like scooping out of the same soup? I, I mean, I honestly have a little bit of that. It also depends on the other person, who that person is. Yeah. Is it weird if I don't want to share soup with some sweaty dude? Mm -hmm. But I'm totally cool with sharing the same soup with a beautiful girl. In fact, I might quietly enjoy that. <laughs> Guys, I'm extremely poor right now because I quit my job and spent all my savings on trying to work on my YouTube channel. Listen, I'm not complaining. But whenever I go out for food, there's always lingering thoughts about the money I'll be spending on the food. And I tend not to eat as much as I want to because of that. And the fact that I can eat here without worrying too much about money was such a great feeling. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this yet, but Koreans like to grab everything with kimchi because it just makes everything better. In fact, when I go out on a blind date and I don't like the girl, I just pull out some kimchi out of my pocket and grab the girl with it. The next thing I know, I'm in love with the girl. We also decided to get some extra items to go with the meat. So my friend Danny got this cold noodle the most popular side dish to go with the Korean barbecue, right? There you go. I got my side dish right here. It's called kimchi marigukusu, which is kind of like kimchi noodles, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like cucumbers. So it's like rice noodles, and there's like a stack of kimchi on top of it. All right, let's get a taste of this. You guys want some too? You could say that this kind of cold noodles with Korean barbecue is like Coca-Cola to pizza. It resets your appetite with the contrasting flavor and temperature. It's funny, because when your partner switches between cold and warm all the time, your life sucks and you kind of want to end it all. But when you get the same thing with food, it's super awesome, you know what I mean? A lot better than I expected. That's only like 350 that's insane. Let me show you guys something, something that is very Korean. You guys love Korea, right? Not just K-pop, right? So lettuce, Korea leaf, double stack them, get some pork belly in there, Bean sprouts in there. Get some kimchi in there too. Also get some garlic in there. That's right, the samjang dipping sauce. Wrap it up, it's like a Christmas gift for your imaginary girlfriend. And stuff it in your mouth. At this point, we weren't really that hungry anymore. But just to show you guys more of what they have, I ordered beef belly, which was slightly more expensive at $6 a serving. It was marinated with some kind of garlic sauce, but it didn't overpower the flavor of the meat itself, which I really appreciated. You guys want some? Go ahead, please. 
please. At the end of the meal, I ordered some fried rice that they cook for you on your meat grill. Nothing fancy in it. Uncle Roger probably doesn't approve, but it's nice if you want to end the meal with extra carbs. The bottom of the fried rice is like all brown and crispy now. I kind of forgot about it, but whenever we go to a Korean restaurant, there's usually these aprons for the customers. These aren't bulletproof, because in Korea we don't have guns. These are actually meant for kimchi. You know how us Koreans, we like to look good, but we also like to eat a lot of kimchi? You might drop that on yourself, and that's gonna look terrible. We don't like to ruin our fashion. So when you go to a restaurant, I'd say most of the time they have aprons for you. But you see guys, I never wear those things. In fact, sometimes I drop some kimchi on myself on purpose, just to prove how dangerous and out of control I am. Not gonna lie, I think overall, the Korean barbecue here, it's super affordable, and it's not bad at all. I'd say it's about, it's like average level Korean barbecue. Now, for something that's supposed to be a budget restaurant, it seemed to deliver some level of quality. But doesn't that make you wonder? What's it like going to a Korean barbecue place that is 30 times more expensive than this one? Well, let's head over right now. All right, I'm back. I'll say it again. Let me tell you, the Korean barbecue that I had earlier was not bad at all. So I'm thinking, how much better could it be? And here's our restaurant. This looks luxurious fuck, dude. Oh, by the way, it's on me. I know you would have done the same thing. It's probably pretty expensive, but I'll take care of it. Don't worry. You see, guys, I was just trying to act cool info on my bro, but I really shouldn't have said this. 안녕하세요. 어디로 가야 되는 거야? 예약하면 돼. 예약했는데. 예약하셨을까요? 네. 사장님 어떻게 되실까요? 와인 이용하실까요? 아니요, 괜찮아요. So turns out in this restaurant, <laughs> all of the customers had their own private room. Bro, we got ourselves some private room. No way. I can't believe it. Oh my, are these hangers? They even had hangers for us to keep our jackets like some kind of a hotel. Oh, <laughs> That's cool. I have a seat, bro. Wow. I don't even know what it is. This just looks nice. So this place, unlike other Korean barbecue places, is actually like a course meal. I think they start from like some type of uh, appetizer and then they're gonna serve us the actual barbecue. And all of that was for a reasonable price of... What the f... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it was too late to turn back, but can you guys see the panic in my eyes? And that's when our server came in. <laughs> this must be like the fanciest steam deck I've ever seen. Do I even deserve this bro? Turns out, it's also the best tasting steam deck I'm ever gonna have in my life. There's something buttery about the flavor that I couldn't get enough of. I'm already ready for the beef, but she got us some more appetizers, and I'm not saying no to that. The single most expensive cabbage roll I've ever had. I wouldn't say that these appetizers are unique, but they were like the fully upgraded versions of their kind. Take a look at their beef sashimi. Now, I'm I'm actually excited for this one. This is a uh, beef sashimi. This is what beef sashimi normally looks like. And this is how they present it here. The meat was wrapped inside a dried layer of mesengi, which is a kind of algae. I love this so much that I wanted to order more of this, but I probably won't be able to afford more of this in my lifetime. Let's try this beef pancake as well. Now I've had beef pancake before many times, but I had nothing like this before. Wow. The texture was so crispy, it was almost like tempura. I didn't plan on drinking, but my friend really wanted to get some soju, so we got a bottle to share. <laughs> well, we got yet another appetizer, the lobster tail. Bro, that's not lobster tail. That's a freaking lobster micro penis. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this big. I'm actually allergic to uh, lobster. I'd rather die than spend this much money and not eat this. 
It turned out to be the least tasty thing on the menu, but I'm still glad I tried it. What I'm honestly worried about right now? I mean, these appetizers are cool, they're really good, but I'm here for Korean barbecue. If they give me like a pinch of Korean barbecue for my $150, I don't care how good it is, I think I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about the fact that I have to pay later. I get my own banchan? Are you kidding me? So it looks like we're finally getting ready for the barbecue. Even little things like mustard, wasabi, god, even their salt looked good. They brought the fire into the room for the barbecue. And finally, the hanu beef. Hanu is a Korean beef, and similar to wagyu beef of Japan, it is known for being super tender with beautiful marbling. It's also my favorite choice of beef over Kobe or Wagyu because I feel like it's well balanced and not overly fatty in my opinion. And it's also known for being very expensive. That's because Korea is a small land and we don't have enough land for inhumane factory farming on a large scale. We just have it on a small scale. Okay, that's just sad. Let's not think about that for now. I still want to enjoy this. <laughs> Uh, well, that's kind of little if you ask me. Wow. I'm almost nervous. Wasabi and then uh, I'm gonna dip that in the special salt. I don't know why this is special, but she said it's special. Wow. <laughs> this is really fucking good. <laughs> The worker was with us in the room the entire time while the meat was being served. And I gotta say, I had zero complaints about the way she cooked the meat. Oh my god! I'm a pretty simple guy. I'm, I always go for the, the wasabi and salt. Wow! Oh my god! I mean, I simply can't explain how good it is. I mean, you guys know me. I'm not one of those people that squeeze out fake reactions for YouTube. Because to me, honesty matters more than the show. But let me just say this. This is possibly the most delicious meal that I've ever had in my entire life. And pretty quickly, we were down to the last pieces of the beef. <laughs> Yeah, when I put it in my mouth and bite, it unloads juice all over my mouth. And I like it, I enjoy it. There's like special flavor to it. Well, it seems that the factory farm Korean cow died for a good wow. cause at least. Thank you, thank you. After the beef, they served us caviar scallop thing that looked really fancy. I mean, I understand it's a cool bougie thing and it tasted great, but I didn't feel like it was something super special. Like, it made me wonder why people would pay a lot of money for this. At the end, they served us this soybean stew with rice and hanu in it. Oh. Mm. They have so much meat in there too. I really like that. And by the time I finished it, I was actually starting to feel like I was full. Well, since I am full, I could use some desserts now. I got my plum tea right here. And this is, uh, I believe this is rice gelato. By the way, am I supposed to eat the flour too? Well, I paid for that too. <laughs> Both the gelato and the tea were fantastic, but let's just say I wasn't shocked. Well, I'm about to get shocked now because it's time for me to pay. <laughs> this might have been a mistake. I'm never gonna financially recover from this. Well, thank you guys so much for making this happen. I am now broke. At least I made a video out of this. And I enjoyed the hell out of that dinner. Please go ahead and like this video and watch my other videos. Continue to support me. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye.